everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have recently posted this picture here on Instagram which is cerebell93x so you should probably go follow me because that's a lot of fun. And you have been requesting for me to do an updated what's in my purse video because I just got a new purse like a week and a half ago and I like it a lot and I've recently been switching between this purse that I have right in front of me and also my Louis Vuitton ne Neverfull but for some reason y'all wanted to see this purse so I figured I would go into depth depth I have a serious purse addiction which is I don't know in, in a way it's getting a little bit out of hand but if you guys wanted to see a like purse collection video be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that seems to be something that you guys are interested in that was like kind of a awkward make type thing so I was on Pinterest before the Christmas season began and I saw this purse that I really wanted from Tory Burch, which is this one, and they had a Black Friday sale and by the time I got around to getting it on Black Friday, it was sold out. I used my Christmas money and I got the purse, which is very exciting. This is a purse, this is the Tory Burch Color Block Square Pebble Tote, because it's a square. Get it? I like this one because it's different than all the other ones because it is color block. It's got black here and like a topish color beige on the front and like a red trimming which is really cool. So essentially this what's in my purse video is basically kind of portrays my life in a way because my purse is essentially garbage can. And I don't have my life together so when I do have my life together I feel like my purse will be clean all the time but until then, yeah. We're actually going to go ahead and get into the what's in my purse part of this video. I do this thing where I carry like a purse inside of a purse, like a smaller purse inside of a purse because it's like a wallet. Anyone remember that? <laughs> that being said, I'm currently using this purse which is the Louis Vuitton Favorite PM in just a monogram canvas. And I got this off of guilt.com which is my favorite place to buy used or just like any type of purse. So this is a purse and inside of it I have a koozie because that is what us normal people carry around in their purses. I keep my cards and my IDs and stuff in here so my driver's license, school IDs, and my credit card and cash. Dollar dollar bills for my drive through at McDonald's, holler! Then also in here I have my little benefit concealer and then two of my Tarte um, lip stain things that I use, the matte lip stains that are my absolute favorite, and of course my tanning goggles in case I ever decide to go to the tanning bed, which I haven't clearly because I'm white as a ghost. A bunch of change, a spare earring, and a guitar pick. So that is what I carry in this. This is just like what I basically just like grab whenever I'm going out the door, going to school or something like that. I don't tug along this big honker donker of a tote. Okay, so. The way that this purse is set up is there's like the main compartment and then there is a zipper part right yonder right here. And there's another one of those right there. Am I the only one that's still going to holiday parties because I just got a card on Sunday. Um, so that's exciting. My absolute favorite teasing comb which is basically my prized possession. So I have my keys right here and on this I just have Alexley and Bernard key fob and another key fob because obviously I need two of those. My Ralph's card which is exciting because I have my own. My house key, my planet fitness pass thing. This is probably going to be the most boring what's in my first video ever so I apologize. But I have my iPhone 6 which is my like crack. Um, I use it religiously. I can't be without it. When my phone dies, I feel like part of my soul has died too. The case that I'm currently using on my iPhone 6 is the Mini and Emma camo monogrammed case and this I've had on my phone basically ever since I got it and it's my probably my most favorite case ever. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with camo print. I don't hunt. Just imagine me hunting. It's It, it kind of makes for like a good conversation starter because you can like pretend to lose your phone and be like oh I can't find it and then you're like oh wait I forgot it's camouflaged. That's a funny joke right? So I have a what's on my iPhone 6 and I will link it in the down bar if that is something you want to watch. I have a miscellaneous like just 
stray lip gloss. Okay, this really needs to go. So after this video, I'm gonna throw this out. On Sunday, I tweeted that I had this in my purse, which is not good to have in your purse because what if it explodes? That would not be good. But I went to Chick-fil-A on Friday and I got buffalo sauce for my chicken nugs and um, I guess you never know when you're gonna need it, right? But really, I really need to start carrying around Tabasco sauce in my purse because I put that ish on everything. Then I have my cosmetic bag, which is open, so that's kind of defeats the purpose of a cosmetic bag. And it's from the brand Bando or Bandu or whatever. I got this off Bubble Bar, but I think it's really cute because I am very busy. So inside of here, I have just like blotting pot pots, blotting pads, blotting sheets. Um, a bunch of tart, just like lippies and stuff like that. Random lip glosses, my Revlon Raspberry Bite because it's my absolute favorite lipstick, and a tampon. I hope there's boys watching that so they know that girls actually get periods. The next thing I have is my sunglasses. So these are my one. Ooh, they're dirty. I got these when I was in LA about this time last year, and they are just the. Ray-Bans 3025 Blue Mirror Flash Lens Sunglasses in 58 millimeters. I'm a pro, guys. I can recount that any day of the week. For those wondering, the sun never sets on a badass. Then at the bottom of my purse, I have a Chipotle receipt, a Walgreens receipt, more dollars for the drive through at McDonald's, for Diet Cokes, a Target receipt, a bunch of stuff that I just dropped. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A again. So I put all of like just that random stuff because I was too lazy to throw it out. So that's me. Then in the side pocket, I keep a little tampon. Pause, did I ever tell you guys about the time that I was in a taxi going from LAX to my hotel around, it was at IMATS last year and I was in a cab and I stuck a tampon up my nose because I got a bloody nose. I was so embarrassed I didn't want to ask the cab driver if he had tissues because I feel like that freaks him out like hey I'm bleeding and so I just took like one of those like mini tampons put it up my nose and I just covered my nose. I don't know if I have the picture it's gonna be right there. <laughs> and another tart lips thing. So that's all I keep in that compartment then I'm going to move on to what I keep Oh wow, I didn't know that was in there. This, um, I have a wrapper for the goji and raspberry flavored dark chocolate Brookside's, which are so good. I love them so much. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only female in this world that does this, but I have an emergency pouch for jewelry because heaven forbid I go somewhere and I'm not prepared, like, accessorized well enough, um, because that would just be a tragedy. So I keep it in this Kendra Scott pouch. And I just have white Kendra Scott earrings in here. There. And then just like these little pearl ones from Bobble Bar. This pocket, I have my notebook, which I actually got this from my friend Design Darling, Mackenzie. And it's just gold stripes, so it's obviously up my alley and up the little pens that she sent me. And I like to make lists, so this is currently my Hilton Head outfit planning list. So, so my purse is now empty, and that concludes my what is in my purse video for the new year. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and didn't take it as bragging because it's not. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you would like to see next here on Sarah Bell, and be sure to check out all my social media links and subscribe to the channel if you want more of this face, because who wouldn't? And until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye!